What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and in today's video, we're here to talk about Final Tap Luffy once again, and I feel like, a, almost like a broken record at this point, because we've made a lot of videos discussing how good this unit actually is, and I think that, you know, the first Kizuna following the release of Final Tap Luffy really shows why this character is going to be so valuable, not only now, but I feel like for the indefinite future. I don't see too many situations where this character is going to be considered bad. And I mean, people make arguments like, oh, he's only really good as a friend captain. Absolutely not. In this Kizuna, it really shows that if you put in the hard yards to get that final tap level five, then you're going to be, you know, having the best time of your life during Kizuna clashes moving forward. And uh, I just want to quickly talk about it before we actually jump into the video and the content that I have for you guys today. So let's actually talk about Final Tap Luffy once again, um, for those of you who do not know what he actually does. Um, so the, the main reason, and the, ma the main reason why this character is considered to be one of the best, if not the best, legend in the game is literally due to the Final Tap. Now the Final Tap will activate at any point once you reach the final battle. So that's one of the big draws to the unit as well, is that it's always going to be active no matter what, whereas you have a character like like Yamato or Final Tap Law or Final Tap Kid that have certain conditions that need to be fulfilled before you get that effect to activate. Luckily for this unit, that is not the case. And essentially at level five, it adds 1.2 times the total damage dealt of normal attacks from your whole crew on top of this character's tap timing. So the way that it kind of works is, is like you make sure you attack last with Luffy and Luffy's damage is not accounted into the final tap damage, by the way. It is the only damage of your previous five units that will be multiplied by 1.2, and then that gets added on top of Luffy's damage. And uh, people have already shown it so far that this damage from final tap Luffy is incredibly strong in the fact that it actually gets around resilience buffs as well, goes through normal attacks only, like it's just the best, right? So as long as Luffy himself is able to hit the, hit the opponent and do damage, then and this effect is going to activate. It's just absolutely incredible, right? And this really got me thinking about, like, just seeing how powerful this final tap of Luffy is. I just really don't know where they can go from here. Now, I don't understand, like, how can they even improve upon this final tap? Now, while, yes, they could definitely release a character later on down the line that does the same thing, but with higher numbers, that is definitely a possibility. I hope that's not the case, though. But, like, legit, you know, the final tap is all about increasing your damage output. There is absolutely no reason for a final tap to have utility because that's what your crew is dedicated to doing when you do your normal attacks you're outputting damage there should be no utility in these uh in these final taps because it's so focused on the amount of damage potential that you can reach and by far and away luffy and the straw hats have the highest damage potential and you guys are going to see that in this video but i really don't know where they can go from here what other kind of final taps can they even release in the game that even rival this in any capacity it just doesn't make any sense and one thing that came to my head was is if they do release other super sugo fest exclusive characters in the future potentially they just give other characters the same effect as final tab luffy which means that you can like use different characters with different abilities but have this extremely powerful final tap ability we saw characters like yamato and roger and whitebeard have somewhat similar effects with their final tap relating to the chain multiplier where roger and whitebeard give you the plus 4.0 where yamato just doubles your chain multiplier and depending on the situation one can be better than the other depending of course but when you have something like this like this is just crazy talk right the fact that you can do so much additional damage on top i mean we've already talked about how good this is so far so uh let i guess without further ado guys i think it's about time we go ahead and showcase some of the stuff that i have for you guys in this video today So jumping into the video today, first thing is, is massive shout out to my man Zima, which is actually one of my Alliance members. And he sent me over this footage, said that he recorded an awesome run, and he said, do you want to show it to your audience? And I think it'd be a really good idea to show you guys just what Luffy is capable of. So let's just quickly discuss the team before we actually jump into the content here today, because we have this team right here versus the Int variation. Now, a lot of clips that you see online with this Kizuna doing absurd amounts of damage damage more often than not it's going to be the in variation it's just easier to build a team that does more damage on the in variation comparatively to the other ones decks and quick but 
all the clips you see here are going to be from the int variation. This one here with Bon Clay Captain with the sub of Ulti Page 1. That combination between these two characters, having Bon Clay giving 1500 base attack bonus to your entire team, and also being able to switch to whatever color or class that you want to ensure that the guaranteed 2.25 times conditional boost from Ulti Page 1 is able to activate, as well as getting access to Chain Boundary with their switch effect, Yamato allowing you to get amazing chain boosting buffs, Wano slots, and a really nice effect of 1.75 times increased damage taken. Roger Newgate, of course, are going to be exceptional for the int variation, getting type advantage on at least one of them, and also having 2.5 color affinity. You have the attack boost and the orb boost, both being a three times boost. And with all of this damage here, it's just a crazy amount. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the content now. So one of the main things that you do need to worry about when actually using the super boss teams is if you are using ulti in page one is deciding whether or not you want to get the super switch or not now there are some of the teams that actually kind of struggle to get that super switch so that is a little bit difficult to do and it does make a big difference because their regular switch provides a 1.5 times chain boundary boost which essentially means you get like a 0.5 chain boost that's basically how it works however if you do get that 2.5 times chain multiplier boundary effect it basically means that your chain multiplier starting at a 2.5 rather than a 1.5 so it adds like a whole extra 1.0 onto your chain multiplier from the get-go and yeah it adds a lot of damage so that's exactly what this team is aiming to do to provide the appropriate amount of stall initially and then we'll be able to move on to the final stage getting access to that super swap and it's very important that you get the super swap and you do use that first before activating the super type special of bon clay i guess that's probably the only thing about bon clay that's kind of terrible is that his super type special doesn't really add in a kizuna team at all it's like it's such a terrible effect in kizuna considering so many teams are able to achieve much higher chain potentials but you know in regular content you know bon clay is going to be a really awesome unit so you'll be able to use the switch effect of ulti page one get a chain boundary boost then the super type of bon clay can be activated which means that considering you already have a chain multiplier boost or you know a chain lock applied from ulti page one you'll be able to do that. And then of course, making sure that you have at least one Whitebeard and one Roger for the final boss stage. You, you don't want to screw it up and have both of them active. You want to make sure that you have one of each and make sure to use Whitebeard first. If you guys don't remember, Whitebeard will enable you to get the color affinity boost and buff the orb boost. Roger will buff the attack boost and also buff the color affinity boost, giving you three times attack, three times orbs and also the 2.5 times affinity so in this instance here we become slasher and driven so we get the color affinity boost from roger whitebeard as well as being powerhouse or driven for the ulti in page one conditional boost and then of course attacking in the right order will make obviously a pretty big difference and luckily also the fact that a lot of really good units for this event are boosted namely bon clay having double stats roger newgate having double stats if yamato had double stats it would have been crazy as well but still a lot of good characters on this team do have that stat increase which obviously inflate the numbers a lot more than what you would naturally get in regular content so here we go here is the damage here ulti page one roger and then you've got yamato bon clay White beard and finishing off with the boy final tap luffy and we're gonna pause it here on the number with the 16.1 billion damage and whilst it's good to gawk at these numbers because you just don't see that every day in one piece treasure cruise i want to go ahead now and break down these numbers and show you guys why Final Tap Luffy is so freaking good, man. So first of all, let's just have a look at the raw numbers that we got from the first five characters. So we have Ulti Page 1 first, then the Int, Roger and Newgate, Yamato, Bon Clay, then the other Roger and Newgate, the Psy variation. So you can see that this is a lot of damage already just with these characters. And you can see Roger and Newgate, they actually already hit for 3.2, nearly almost 3.3 billion damage by themselves. This will give us a subtotal of the total damage from the first First five characters being 7.28 billion damage right that is insane by itself if you're able to do over 7 billion damage to a super boss you should already be very happy with that however when you add final tap luffy the sixth character to attack it multiplies this subtotal by 1.2 due to their final tap giving us an additional 8.738 
billion damage on top of the 7.2 that we had already done, meaning that our total damage is going to come out to a whopping 16 billion damage, and of course you have to add the fact in that Luffy and the Straw Hats, they do damage by themselves as well, and that equated to around 96 million, so you can see the numbers don't lie. This is by far and away the best final tap in the game, and it's not even close. I also wanted to quickly shout out my man Syringe, who is another member of our alliance that with the same team was able to output very similar numbers and the numbers could have slightly altered due to how many people had already ha attempted this boss because of course if you guys know, the more people that actually attempt a super boss in your alliance, you actually get a higher multiplier given to your team, whether it be like a 1.5 bonus or a 1.3, the more people you have that have attempted a super boss, the more multipliers you will get, meaning that, you know some numbers may slightly be off also depending on the supports that you put on your characters that are stat boosting related can also have a relatively big impact as to the damage output that you'll receive when you do a super boss run and the final clip I want to show you is even higher than the original clip that we showed. Shout out to Maniac for this one. I'll leave the links to all of his stuff down below in the description here, as well as Zima and Syringe. But he was able to output on Twitter 17 billion damage towards the super boss blackbeard and i'm sure there are definitely people out there in the one piece treasure cruise community that have been able to output even more damage than this but it just goes to show and i just wanted to make this video just to highlight how good this character is once again and hopefully people understand why i have this character rated so highly in my tier list because this obviously equates to super bosses but even in regular content like the fact that you just get 1.2 bonus uh, on top of all your other damage you've already done Bro, it's, it's just too much. But anyways, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one today. And if you guys did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.